Graham Aubrey is one of cycling's immortals. He revolutionized the sport twice and won four world titles on a homemade bike. Boardman has got no answer to the flying Scott as he returns to his original starting station. Look at the clock, 422.668. I am Graham Aubrey and I am cracking out to have a good crack at the world human powered land speed record. Well the thing about the land speed record is that there's no rules. Well there is, human powered, no stored energy, that's it. Because I've been banned uh, positions and tried to make it innovations in the sport and it's very much regulated now. Uh, so the land speed record is like, phew, knock yourself out, innovate is the sport. Innovate, build the best bike you can and uh, fly up that road as fast as a human being can go with aer aerodynamics, mechanical efficiency, everything. That is the sport. This is the embodiment of everything that I am. Without rules, regulations, anything. And also it's exciting, let's face it. And having a nose like that, uh, to a wheel like that, flying at 80 miles an hour uh, up, up a road in America, that's exciting, isn't it? So, I thought, yeah, I'm going for that. And it's also an output for slightly obsessional behaviour. Like, how much millimetres can I save off this or save off that? Um, how can I make this narrower than it is, or, or lighter or better? To me, this is a form of artistic expression. This isn't just a world land speed record. This is... It's... Design the bike the best you can with the components and design that bike yourself. Just hobble this thing, not hobble, that sounds bad. But basically hobble this thing, yeah, hobble this thing together in my kitchen and make it work. I'm recycling stuff because part of this remit is to say to people, you know what, we are throwing a whole lot of stuff away you can use for our things. So I'm recycling a bit of bike, I'm recycling that chain ring, that's an old hub. I'm using old stuff, I'm, I'm, this is like scrap heap channels in a way. I'm using old stuff to say, you know what, we throw all this tat away. And I refuse to own a car, because we're turning the planet into a landfill site. I can't say that I will break the record because I know that it's doable because a human being has gone at that pace. But whether my design is actually in the real world going to be better, I don't know till I get there. And that's part of the pleasure of it. It's like you don't really know till you get there. So all what I've promised the world is I mean I've kind of climbed up the top highest diving board. It's just all watch me like that. <laughs> so I've I've now got to go and go, there's a bike, I'm flying up this road. There's no guarantees I'm gonna be at record though. I was saying actually in a lot of ways my message would be more powerful if I didn't get this record. Because part of the remit is go and enthuse people to go and have a go at something. Don't sit about because you're going to die. You're going to die. So they don't just sit about and think, oh, I sat in a chair on your mind. You go, no, I should have done that. <laughs> no. It's like, because people ask, what's my biggest fear? It's not crashing this bike at 85 mil an hour and losing some skin. My biggest fear is sitting in a chair when I'm 90 going, I wish I'd done more. I'm inspired by the possibility of things. I'm inspired by the fact that we're dying. I'm inspired by the fact that um, a sense of, of my own mortality. For example, take that. That's going to cut down and that's going to be turned into my round about there. Measured it out. Uh, that's going to be cut down, stuck on there, and there's going to be that's my handles like that crouched up, kind of a crouched position. Now that, once you start that job, that's an example of a mundane job, which is file that all down to be a perfect fit, smooth it all up and silver it. You think, oh, I could do it later. But you think, hold on, this is my passion. So I wake up and think, you know what, hold on, Graham, this is what you're passionate about. Uh, that might seem like a mundane job, but this is part of the process of, of, of being in Nevada with this bike flying up that road. You think, right, let me add it. So the first thing I do is remind myself, I'll get to do my passion today. I'll have to go in and, and uh, stuff in turkeys or something. And I've got to do my passion. Think, come on, give yourself a slap. That's what I do in the morning. I'll have a cup of coffee.